In The Hague, crowds gathered outside the Prime Minister's office at the Binnenhof. The Netherlands' longest-serving leader resigned from his fourth term in office because of disagreements over immigration between coalition partners. Today, unfortunately, we have to conclude that those differences are irreconcilable. That is why I will immediately offer the resignation of the entire cabinet to the king in writing. I will, of course, also send a copy of that request for dismissal to the House of Representatives. Since January 2022, Mark Rutte has led a coalition government comprising four parties from the right and centre. For months, the government had been trying to find an agreement on reducing the flow of migrants entering the country. This week, the Prime Minister tried to push through a plan to restrict family reunification for refugees in the Netherlands. The plan included a cap on the number of relatives of war refugees allowed into the country, but two of the four-party coalition were not prepared to further tighten the policy for asylum seekers. Mark Rutte's resignation opens a period of uncertainty for the Dutch. It happened suddenly. Suddenly the news came that the government is going to fall and now it happened. I am worried what the future will bring regarding politics. Immigration, also finances. We are not one of the most thrifty countries and I hope that the next cabinet will come with more will to get things done. A new round of elections will take place in mid-November. In the meantime, Ruta's coalition will stay on as caretaker government. But the outgoing prime minister has not yet decided whether he will run for office a fifth time.